They've got to get a base runner to have a chance here in the ninth inning. Margot, Wendell, and Adamas against Julio Urias. <laughs> Who fires a strike? Yeah, that's all he's been doing. He has been in command of the strike zone. He's fearless. And like I said, you got to have a slow heartbeat. It's not like he's done this a ton of times. He does have some saves. One on one. Outside. Ball and a strike. But now the Rays have to get somebody on to make at least the nerves a little unsettled to bring the tying run to the plate. I mean, since the first, it hasn't been. The Rays have had zero chances for the most part. That's strike two. We'll give you a quick word from Gatorade. That was quick. No lies. Not in game six of the World Series. With the Dodgers leading three to one. Here comes a one two to Margot. It'll pop up into right. Mookie Betts is there. And the first year Dodger has out number one. Now, what, what you can't do here, Joe, and I'm sure he's not, you can't count outs. Uh, when you've been on the stage as many times as the Dodgers have, and as close as they've come, you can't count outs. This is the only batter you think matters. And then you go from there. And that batter is Mike Brasso off the bench. This game has already tied the record for strikeouts in a nine inning game, if that's what it is. In the end, 25 strikeouts we've seen here tonight by these two teams. Brasso has swung the bat very well this postseason. Well, takes the ball. He is a tough at bat, and if you don't believe me, ask a role to Chapman. Yeah, it's. The bat of his life. Phillips had the moment of his life. Now the Rays are hoping they they have one more moment to keep this series going. So much horsepower in the bullpen did they have. Good rip. But wouldn't it be a little ironic that that ended up costing them in the end? Rays couldn't wait to get to their bullpen. One run charge to the starter Blake Snell who was outstanding and one to Nick Anderson who came in allowed a double to Mookie Betts and the wheels started turning. One one to Brasso strike two. One two pitch it is high and tight. Nope. What a great take. After seeing velocity and then spinning a breaking ball up there, this would have been real easy to come out of your shoes right here, but a great take. Grosso gives nothing away. Undrafted, trying to give the Rays a chance. Down by two. Urias. Got him looking to out. Your fans to their feet. Urias, calm, cool, and collected, has retired all six he's faced. Two best teams in baseball. 
meet in the most unpredictable format that we've seen in a long time. One of these teams will have won a great World Series. Strike one on Willie Adamas. I don't think I've ever done a Major League Baseball game and not thought of my dad, but it's impossible to not think of the 92 year old Vin Scully, the greatest to ever do it. Started with the Dodgers in 1950, retired four years ago. Oh, that is strike two. 67 years of his life he poured into the Dodger organization, and you know he's watching and rooting. Ownership, Andrew Friedman, Dave Roberts. That's strike three. Dodgers have won it all in 2020. John, the Dodgers just showed too many ways that they can beat you in this series. Power, speed, defense, clutch hitting, big time pitching. Dave Roberts pulling the strings and making right call after right call out of the bullpen. And over the last 32 years, the Dodgers have knocked at the door for this a few times. This year, they kicked it in. You know, it's amazing. They were down three games to one to the Braves. They played flawless baseball from that point on and almost flawless baseball in the World Series. This is a complete team, a team that had a lot of hurdles and a ton of pressure on them. These are two different teams got here two different ways. Two great teams representing their cities. The Dodgers had the weight of the world on them. And I'm telling you right now, there is a relief that you cannot understand until you've been there, done that. And they have answered a lot of those questions.